Hello, and welcome back to my channel. It's a lovely day in Edinburgh today. Uh, <laughs> not. It's Scotland. So I'm inside making this lovely special effects makeup tutorial for you all because I have nothing else to do. So yeah, don't you just hate it when you're a criminal and it's Christmas and life is hard and you want to rob this house because the family is away to France and then you don't realise that this crazy little kid has booby trapped the whole place and an iron smacks you in the face? Yeah, me too. Anyway, here's the tutorial. I took my alcohol activated palette and took the iron and lined it up against my head and just drew the outline of the iron using the palette. It's delicious. If it didn't look quite right, I'd just go around it again, drop myself. I then took liquid latex and put this where I had drawn around the iron. To make it look like the iron has burned your skin, I used wax and isopropyl mirror state on my fingers to stop the wax sticking to it. Roll the wax into a sausage shape and apply to your drawn outline when the latex is nearly dry but still sticky. It's now a process of blending the edges of the wax. Use a tool dipped in makeup remover or Vaseline to help smooth the edges and stop the spatula sticking to the wax and pulling it away. Add three smaller lines of wax to look like the holes in the iron. Blend these three bits of wax in too. Now we take our paints again, I'm using blood tone from my skin illustrator palette to paint around the wax. Powder the wax if necessary to help it look more matte. add alcohol paint inside the wound. Delicious. 
I then used aged blood from my skin illustrator palette to give a dark colour and dimension to one side of the wound. I focus on one side of the wound as the injury would have a deeper impact on one side. The more diluted the alcohol paints are, the better for this. So feel free to take a sponge dipped in alcohol to dilute them further after application. Use the iron at any point for an outline. I add further detail onto my cheeks and nose to make the injury look more recognisable. I use a stipple sponge to add Kensington Gore fake blood around the wound and face. And that's the finished look. To complete the look, I add my eye makeup, smudging my mascara on the side of my face that took the majority of the iron impact. Please subscribe for more tutorials, special effects makeup and body painting and check out my other social medias, my Facebook page for my makeup. Thanks for watching.